Ang question na tayo, sir. Si oh, Ms. Chona Yun ang inquiry. Ay, okay. Sir, magandang gabi. Good evening. Ano pong agenda ang ipupush nyo dito sa ASEAN Summit? At bukod sa tatlong leaders na kabilateral nyo, yung Vietnam, Lao, and Timor, Timor meron pa po ba kayong ibang kabilateral? Uh, so far, hindi. Yung palang nakaschedule. Kasi kung titignan nyo yung schedule, medyo masikip talaga. Uh, so, dinagyan namin. Kasi yung Timor Leste, It's the first time that they're here in Asia as an ASEAN observer status, which is a, a step towards being becoming a, a member. So, yun ang kaya kailan makilala natin. The uh, uh, Vietnamese, pa minsan si bago, uh, hindi namin nakilala sa nakaraang mga na ASEAN. Lao, pa minsan the same situation, bago. So, I'd like, uh, although the Vietnamese prime, the Vietnamese prime, pinakilala ko sa London. Now that I mention it, oh, nakilala ko sa London, but never mind. But uh, we'll, we'll go through the formalities. Uh, ang, ang agenda rito is the, in the theme uh, is that uh, talagang para patiba, pa, 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 how do you say, pa, how to make more, to revitalize the economies. Uh, you know, we, we've seen sa EU, we've seen sa ibang lugar, that the, the global economies are also turning towards Asia. And the reason is, is that perhaps we are adjusting better than uh, the Western countries, uh, the African countries, the Middle Eastern countries are also doing well. But tinitignan din ang Southeast Asia and ASEAN. And that's what the subject matter will be, is that how do we uh, play the part that we want to play, which is going to be the global uh, locomotive of the global, uh, uh, the global economy. So, I think all of those kind of aspects of that, yun ang pag-uusapan. Uh, or at least in the, in, my, in, the, in the Philippines case, yun talagang pag-uusapan natin. But I, I, I predict that uh, we will have the same idea in mind. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, lang. Uh, sir, ngayon po ay May 9. I'm yeah. sure memorable sa iyo ang araw. Oh, medyo. Na oh. Ngayon yung araw na nanalo ka, one year. I know. How does it feel? Ano? Oh, nga. Oh, marami. Ay, talagang gagamitin mo yung one year. Ba asahan niya yun. Uh, by, at, uh, by the end of the first year, para maging maliwa. Uh, in, in, in a sense, uh, uh, tapos na yung OJT ng lahat ng tao. <laughs> And uh, we, we've seen what, uh, who, who performs well. And who is, uh, will be important to what we are doing. So, uh, yes, there's really going to be... In, I don't know about reshuffle, but reorganization re 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 in the cabinet. Thank yeah. you, sir. Catherine Valiente, the Manila Times. Good evening. Uh, will you discuss with your ASEAN, as well as your leaders, about Taiwan's trade and yeah. what action should the ASEAN uh, adopt to boost their tensions? Well, it's inevitable, unavoidable subject matter. Dahil pare-pareho na mga membro ng ASEAN, siyempre it is, a, it is a grave concern to all the member states of ASEAN. So it, it's uh, considering that we also agree on the concept of um, ASEAN centrality when it comes to regional concerns. Uh, that, uh, that will be, that will be a very, one of the most uh, important subjects that we will bring up. So uh, the discussions on that since... Uh, for. Uh, that we had a year ago, close to a year ago. Uh, in that time, marami nang nagbago, many changes have occurred. And that's why we have to recalibrate uh, whatever it is that we, we are planning to do. So yes, it, it, there's no way around it that, that, will be an ine that will inevitably be a part of the conversation that we'll be having uh, tomorrow and the day after. Thank you, sir. Joyce Balancho, ABS-CBN. Hi. Sir, will you still push for the finalization of the Code of Conduct on the South China Sea, just like what you did when mm. the Cambodia was the mm. chairman of the ASEAN? Because for last time, mm. kayo po nagpanggit, wala naging progress sa Sea. Yeah, yeah, but we, we, okay, you cannot stop trying. So yes, I will bring it up again because when we talk about when we talk about the issues in the West Philippine Sea, South China Sea, ah, uh, hindi magkakalma yan hanggang meron na tayong Code of Conduct. Kasi may code of conduct, lahat pa sa susunod lahat. And that, that makes things clearer. Uh, walang walang, walang uh, 
possibility na magkamali na you know, kasi maliwanag na maliwanag dapat ang usapan. So yes, that, uh, that has always for me been a key element um, in the ASEAN centrality solution of all of these of, of this, these problems is really the new code of conduct. It, in, paulit-ulit ko lagi sinasabi and, and every forum I can find sinasabi ko, code of conduct that we, kailangan natin tapusin. Thank you, sir. Marie Somali, GMA7. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were also with you during the last ASEAN Summit and the APEC Summit, and you were also, um, of course, asking for the, the... The objective is also to find a conclusion to the, to the Code of Conduct, but you were not able to reach it. So what do you think are the challenges? Uh, the, the, the challenges are... Because there, it, it, it gets complicated because uh, the, the code of conduct would essentially be a multilateral um, arrangement, a multilateral, I suppose you could call it a treaty, uh, be between ASEAN and China. And that's what the, the declaration that went before was, uh, but now we need a new one. Uh, so the, the problem is that there are... There are it gets complicated because there are bilateral arrangements between member countries and with China that have to be resolved, that we re need to resolve so that we can have a common code of conduct. Uh, because over the years, siyempre, lahat nakikipag-usap sa China, yung iba na, sa ASEAN dumadaan, uh, iba-ibang nangyayari. Kaya na, napaka-importante na maging maliwanag na may code of conduct, ganito yung gagawin natin. This is how we operate. Pag kami problema, dito natin i-resolve, -re etc. Uh, yes, that, 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 uh, uh, that's getting in the way. But more and more, again, ako, again, siguro I'm the eternal optimist, pero I really believe that uh, we will slowly, slowly get to the point where we can uh, prefer uh, and say this is, the, this is what we want it to look like and this is what we think will be effective. For in this particular summit, you, will, you are optimistic that you'll be able to reach it? And also in this summit? Yeah. I know the code of conduct, the negotiations of code of conduct are separate from the ASEAN summits. Uh, they, they negotiate uh, in another way. So that's not something that will be done here at this time. What we need to do is, look, if kung wala pa, ano pa talagang naging problema? This is what we have to, have to discuss amongst ourselves. What is the problem? What is the bottleneck? Where are we having a hard time? How can we fix that problem? That, that's, what the, that's what this, uh, this meeting should be for. And I think we'll get to that point. Because everybody wants this to work. Everybody wants to have a code of conduct. So what's getting in the way? Let's talk about it. Uh, you know, iba, iba bansa yan eh, and everyone has a different agenda. But if we talk about it, and I, I, with, in, with a common thought in mind, I think we'll, 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 we'll get there. But I hope sooner rather than later, because the, the tensions are increasing. I'm sorry, one, one last. Um, sir, uh, will you also give a self-imposed deadline on the talks with China with, with no. regards to the issue no. of uh, fishing? No, no. What, 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 uh, the, my only the deadline is when it's done. Okay. Uh, but, but because if you if you if, if you set a deadline and it's not done, what then? Doesn't really <laughs> help. It uh, doesn't help anything. So you just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going as hard as you can, as much as you can, until you get uh, yeah, an agreement on uh, the fishing grounds. I have already, but I've already spoken with the with our ambassador. And you know, sabi niya, willing na kami, we'll, we'll, let's, let's map it out. And that's what we'll have to do when I get back. Sinimulaan na namin, I talked to the Coast Guard, I talked to the DFA, and I said, this is the proposal of the Chinese. Let's see. Let's see if we can accommodate that into our agreement. So we're, we're, we're headed there. It's, it, we, may, may progress now. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ana Felicia Bajo, GNO. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, ganun pa rin. we haven't really stopped. Uh, ganito, this is the impasse, okay? Uh, the impasse is that we, we continue to ask for uh, uh, 
a, a commutation or even a pardon uh, or just an extradition back to the Philippines. Um, and with that is constantly there. But the Indonesians answer us and uh, it's, it's that this is the law. Ito yung batas dito sa Indonesia. Kaya kailangan natin ipagpatupad yan. And they have already given us postponement of the, you know, of the, so, but, but that, that doesn't mean it's done. Well, I, I always, I always uh, at least bring it up na baka sakali, baka sakali magbago. Sa ngayon, ganun ang mga position natin. He said, yes, we agree, we, uh, we understand that he is convicted. We understand that uh, uh, the law in Indonesia is that way. But nonetheless, baka makahanap tayo ng paraan. Iuwi na lang namin yan. Kami na magpaparusa sa kanya, whatever. Uh, but said, any, any way to, to, to ask for clemency, to ask for grace when it comes to this. Thank you, sir. Last question. May lakad pa si Presidente. Helen Flores, Philippine Star. Hi, there. Sir, um, did you meet British Prime Minister Sunak in the United Kingdom? Yes. Well, uh, this is the same thing that comes up every time I meet with leaders. Nagpapasalamat siya sa magandang trabaho ng mga Pilipino at Pilipina doon sa NHS nung pandemic. At uh, kung pwede ba nating dagdagan, may, may lagi may kasunod na But also, but I, I basically discussed, uh, we were talking politics. And I was uh, uh, saying that I was uh, commenting that at least uh, with his uh, 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 election as leader and now prime minister, well, magkaroon ng counting stabil stability in the UK because medyo magulo. And we, we said, look, sabi ko sa kanya, there are many opportunities that we have had. In fact, yung kanilang trade representative accompanied me in Gatwick. And he reported to the Prime Minister that there is this proposal from the conglomerate. Well, the, conglomerate the conglomerate we keep hearing about for the airport, that was why I went to Gatwick. Uh, that day, uh, the report niya, sabi niya, sana matuloy natin, let's talk about it. And we won't be able to do it now because we had maybe seven minutes, six minutes. Uh, we can't do it now, but we'll do a proper trip for you to come to the UK and we'll talk about it soon. Uh, that's where that's where we ended. Uh, we also met the his wife, who kept talking about their mga uh, na, na, mga mga governess ng kanilang mga anak. Like everywhere you go. So ang protocol doon sa reception bawal mag selfie. Eh, asawa naman siya ng prime minister. Sabi niya, I'm going to I'm going to violate the protocol. Because, sabi nung, sabi nung, nung kanilang kasama, kasang bahay, ay eh, huwag kang aalis dyan hanggang makakuha ka ng picture kasama ng presidente namin. So, inutusan nila yung prime minister at saka yung asawa. Kaya nag-picture. Galing talaga ng Pinoy. No? How about the? Well, King, yeah, it was it very mahira, very quick. But, Kasi dumadaan lang siya na ganun, uh, but and as you can imagine, he was very, very busy. But kahit pa paano, yun na nga, ang, I just came, I just uh, caught a, a few moments with him. Kinamayan ko, nagpakilala ko. The minute uh, uh, he heard Philippines, sabi niya, uh, it's terrible, but, uh, but uh, you have to endure all of these uh, typhoons that, uh, uh, that climate change has brought. And... Yes, Your Majesty, you have, you have actually uh, been warning us about this for a very long time. So, yeah, well, some, but nobody was listening. <laughs> and then I, 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 I said that I did not have the chance to come at the uh, funeral of uh, Queen Elizabeth. But please note that I wanted to extend, late as it is, my condolences. It was a great loss to all of us. Uh, even Filipinos who are not British, uh, you came to love the Queen, especially those of us who spent time in England. Uh, and he thanked me for that. And I told him, I then went and said, uh, I, I, my, mother, when she, my mother, when she found out, my mother Imelda, pag Imelda, nakilala na niya. My mother Imelda, 
uh, when she knew that I was coming, wanted to send you her best wishes and congratulations for, uh, for your coronation. And he said, how is she? <laughs> Kasi kilalang kilala niya talaga yan eh. Magkakilala talaga sila. So, ako nakilala ko siya mga two or three times. Pero yung, yung si mother ko talaga. Kasi mga, mga foreign, ano, siya, siyang, laging, siyang laging representative ng, ng Reina. Mami ko naman ang representative ng father ko. So, lagi silang nakikita ko saan saan. And he said, well, give her my, give her my warmest felicitations. We had so much fun together. So, <laughs> I said, well... Uh, congratulations on your coronation. It was very nice. Uh, he has his, he, he clearly knows about the Philippines. Marami siyang kaibigan na Pilipino eh. Did you get invited, sir, to the Philippines? Ay, There was no, no, ano for that, no time for that. Oh, uh, uh, nagbabayuhan dun sa, para makakausap yung, yung, his magic. Well, it's, I, you know, yes, I did. It was, my gosh, it was historical. Yung parang, it was like in the, in the uh, a couple of centuries ago, no? kinukoronahan ng hari. Kailan pa ba mangyayari sa buhay ko yun? So I was really, it was really, it was, and the way, you know, the British, they do this kind of thing very, very well. And so they did it very, very well yet again. So we wish uh, King Charles a long and happy reign. Thank you, sir. Right, thank, thank you. you.